Hey Essentials Families, it's Felicia. I'm coming to you from my home for two reasons. One, uh, I have not sent my family, my parent, my Essentials parent letters yet. And so I thought I'd do it, I'd expedite it by doing it um, in a video. Uh, because it's Thursday, so we're really down to the wire and I apologize. It's just been a stressful week. I've been under physical attack with regard to symptoms. Not too many people in this house have had good sleep. It's been unique. That's the only word I could use right now. Um, so anyway, uh, I my goal was to write notes and then do this uh, voice mail. But, of course, um, time got the best of me. So I thought, let me just go ahead and get it done right now. You're looking at my refrigerator right there, so I apologize. This is not the best view, but it's just easy. All right. Here's what's going on. You know, Faces of History is this Monday. So excited about that. We're going to have a fantastic time. Uh, there are some updates to the information that I shared with you that I want to make sure you get before the weekend so that you can have time to do the changes if you feel like you need to. If you don't want to do any changes, don't worry about it. Um, and let me get right to the first one. It's not a big deal, but I wanted to make sure. Uh, when I spoke with the other et Essentials tutor, I had um, I shared with you guys that we were going to do um, index cards for the live museum so that the kids did not have to have their papers up there. Well, I forgot about what we discussed. Here's what's actually going to happen. Uh, I'm actually going to darken some paper to make it like parchment, and we're going to roll it into a scroll. Each living statue will have a scroll in their hand. And either your child's index cards with the notes that they want to say will be on the inside of that scroll. Basically, you're going to tape them. You're going to tape the index cards to the scroll. Um, the other essentials class has already been told to pull five sentences from their report. Write them on a sheet. And that's going to be taped to the inside of the scroll so that it looks like parchment paper, but inside it'll be a white sheet of paper, or in your case, maybe an index card of notes, uh, the equivalent of five sentences that your student as a living statue will recite when folks come to their, um, their place in the living museum of history. Woohoo! So I wanted to share that with you just in case you wanted to do the same thing that the other essentials class is doing. Have your student just pull five sentences that they think are fascinating out, out of their paragraph, out of their report. And uh, you can either copy and paste them to, you know, your own computer-generated printout. You know, copy and paste five sentences, print it out, and then we tape it to the inside of a parchment paper that's a scroll. So when they're in position, they'll have a scroll in their hand somewhere. Um... Or they'll have it on the chair. But that's what they're going to use to share the information. So there's no need to re to um, remember. Unless your kid's already ready and you want them to just go with it, go for it with the way that originally planned, that's fine too. Okay, number two. Uh, the timing. I gave you the wrong time. We're going to do nothing but Faces of History on week 22. Woohoo! So the first... The first set of students will be around about, will, will go up. The first set of nine kids will go up at about uh, 12.45. Uh, from 12.45 to about 1.30 to 1.45, almost an hour, that child will be up on that stand. Maybe, it, it'll be depending on how many kids, how many people are going to be floating around to visit that living statue. And then after that, it's going to be about 15 minutes transitioning. So I think about... 12.45 to 1.30. Then about 1.45, uh, the second, the transition will have taken place between 1.30 and 1.45. The second group of nine kids will go up, and um, they will be on the stand from one uh, from 1.45 until 2.30, 2.45. After that, tra after that second group is done, the kids will all come down. We will take a group picture, so make sure your student stays in costume. Make sure they know they must stay in costume from the time they put their costume on until the end of the day because we're going to take pictures around 2.30, 2.45, and the last 15 to 20 minutes will be uh, us partaking in the foods that we've all brought together to share for this great event. So I'm super excited, super thrilled, and I hope that you are okay with those changes. So let me remind you also 
Don't forget your child's poster that is due on Monday. That poster, uh, if you've already got something special that your child's going to put up, like the arrangements that were already made by at least one other one parent in our class, that's absolutely fine. But if you are going with my idea of the poster, remember, and I'm looking around because I've got one. Hold on. I cannot find it. Oh, here it is. Hold on one second. This is not the poster, but this is a good example. Do you see the size of this paper? It's a little bit wider than this. It's about this tall. These are from Dollar Tree. This is not one, but this is about the measurement. It's about this size, but maybe this wide. You're going to literally fold that baby in half, and you're going to put a seam in it so that the data that your child's, the uh, name of the face of history that your child is going to be, uh, um, uh, shucks, forgive me, the name of that particular personality that your child is going to be acting as and presenting on, the name will be right here, and you can frame right here. The reason why we bend it is because it's going to literally sit like this. The goal is to either have it sit, and I need it to be bent with an indent. I'm just not doing this to mine. I don't really want to do that, although it's happening anyway. So that it sits over the chair like that, or it sits on the chair like a tent card. So, so the decorations don't have to be but on half of it. Okay. Also, I know you've already been notified of this, but there is a sign of genius that has already been sent to all of the families and essentials so that you, so that we all can participate. I actually noticed some people have already signed up to bring several, uh, several items. Thank you. If you have not signed up yet, please check out the email. It came from, from, uh, my co, uh, essentials tutor. Um, check that email out, sign up to bring a couple of things. And, uh, also there's another communication going around. We are in the need of step stools, step stools like this, not necessarily metal step stools, but a step stool that allows a student to have a platform that's strong enough, uh, and stable enough to stand on without being unbalanced, big enough. The base would be big enough. And, uh, at least look about at least, um, that looks like it's about eight inches tall, about eight inches in height. In fact, let me just measure it right now while I can. This is, yeah, oops, dang on it, I'm measuring it from the wrong way. <laughs> Praise God. Yes, it's about a nine inch high. These are nine inch step stools. Um, I'm bringing my four. I've got four, maybe five, and they're different sizes, different styles. If you decide to bring yours, um, I'm going to ask you, uh, if you can, if you can't, no big deal. If you want to bring, you want to wrap it around, if it's ugly like this one is yellow, it just so happens that my daughter's uh, Faces of History is a, is a Vietnamese queen, and yellow is actually their color. But that's actually quite ugly. I'm going to try to clean this baby up and see if I can keep it yellow and then put more yellow to cover up the legs. But we're asking everybody to bring step stools if you can. If you have any type of little spotlight that you can bring, a little uh, uh, kind of like this that we can connect to that clips and can be connected so that uh, what's supposed to happen as you're touring this living museum, the tour guides, which will hopefully be adults for all the groups that go around, all the kids groups should have at least one adult with them. The tour guide will click on the light. The light will be pointing to the, to the student who is uh, the living statue. And that is the student's cue to start presenting and introducing her or himself. At the end of his presentation, they literally will strike a pose, uh, you know, and will stand still like a statue. And that is your cue as tour guides to cut the light out. <laughs> so that's it. And um, we're actually going to be setting up this Sunday. So um, I have no idea what time I'm going to find that out. But... I say all these things to you because I want to make sure that you are ready for uh, Monday's fantastic Faces of History celebration. I think it's going to be thrilling. And also, I apologize, this is going to be the weekly wrap-up for um, Essentials, this voicemail, uh, this video. 
Uh, so I apologize. I'm not going to give you more details about what we went over in essentials. We, yeah, other than the fact that we talked about conjunctions, we did some analytical task sheeting. We, we added dress ups to words for IEW to sentences for IEW. It was all great. We're going to get back into all that next week, week 23, but this week, Look, be prepared to have a fantastic celebration on Monday for week 22. It's going to be thrilling. I look forward to seeing you guys there. Be blessed. Uh, be, look at it. What is it? Be blessed. Be healed. Be strong. Be happy. Uh, find your Selah moments because God's been good to you. That's my, that's my channel ending. So I don't know why I decided to do that here. But um, I so appreciate you all. Um, and your beautiful essential princesses. We will, I look forward to seeing all of them and the other class as we celebrate Faces of History 2019. Shalom, shalom.